How's it going, my friends? This is Ionicus, and today we're looking at the Buzzworthy Bumblebee True Builder Multi Pack. Uh, see, there's four figures here there's a Decepticon Seeker, the Kutsan Trooper, the G2 Universe Cybertronian Trooper, and the Animated Universe Auto Trooper. Now, we're not doing these all in one sitting, we're doing it one by one do each figure individually so oh excuse me let's see you got the artwork on the front got alt, the alt faces on the top little artwork right there another artwork right there all four figures in both modes on the back and a slight description and legal bullshit on the bottom uh, I've been enjoying these multi-packs that they've been giving us. Uh, the Worlds Collide. Uh, Cyberverse. And now this one. I think the only one I didn't get was the multi-seeker Cyberverse set. It was like four, uh, Starscream repaints. Into different troop characters in Cyberverse. And I hated this Cyberverse Starscream mold. It was crap. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about this right here. So let's go ahead and get this opened up and check it out. And welcome to. Oh, there it is. And welcome to Ionicus Toy Reviews. Really? I have no idea why this isn't working. Okay, so we have the Transformers Animated Auto Trooper is next, and I believe he was originally a a BotCon exclusive of some sort. Uh, like an, a, there's like a three pack. It was an attendee three pack that you could get. You showed your ticket at like a civic table. They gave you a a uh, poly bag three pack of these guys. And if I re also remember correctly, I believe they were repaints and remolds of the Ironhide mold, Ironhide Ratchet mold. So that's what they did here. This is a straight repaint, except for the head of. Siege, Ironhide, and Ratchet. Which. And. Point Blank, whose artwork is like right. Here's Pipes right here. The artwork for Reflectors right next to that. Right above Reflector is. Point Blank. And ratchets right here. Okay, this is Snapdragon, I believe. So ratchets right above it. But anyway, I'm getting ahead. The head is on a mushroom joint, so it can't go really go up and down too much. I still don't think it's on a mushroom. can do that, but it can go 360. It's kind of tight. I'm not going to force it. T-pose. Rotation of the arm. Shoulder to the mushroom joint here. Bend. Very tight. 
mushroom joint right there. I'm not even gonna try to mess with it too much. Rotation of waist, kick up, kick back. Super kick all day long. Rotation of the upper leg, bend at the knee, and a foot tilt. And beyond that, so the translucent chest plate. I like the goggles on the forehead, which I kind of wish they would be able to slide down, but I guess not, whatever. But he's got that tailgate type of face, with the blue goggles, visor, whatever you want to call it, with the white face plate, vents on the side. I wonder if they're gonna do a if Toy Hacks is gonna do a a kit to turn this into animated tailgate. I mean that head sculpt is tailgate. Or you could go to the fact that you could just Pop the head off. And replace it with that head. Which is very similar, but I mean, it's with the vents on the top, vents on the side, and burns in the jaw. The thinner faceplate and red eye, red visor. more modernized uh, Elite Guard Autobot symbol right there. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. So that's cool. And it comes with the same gun as the others. It's a bazooka here. Pop that down. And he can hold it here. Right here. So it's via a tip of hammer. Hammer! So he's got like the two modes for the weapon, which is kind of the other three versions of him. Excuse me, came with that weapon. It would have been nice if the weapons would have been able to get changed a little bit, but it is what it is. The paint naps are very light. You have know, the black on the shoulders and that teal, well, the translucent there. I was just pointing out the Autobot symbol, black on the sides here. And that's about it. Let me go ahead and flip this around so I can put him in the vehicle mode. And then we'll take a look at that in just a moment. And here's the auto trooper in the vehicle mold, mode. Uh, 
So you got the symbol there, the silver teal, the black, the white top. All. all the same detailing in the vehicle mode. Feet still hanging out the back. Still got all the ports. So. Like I just, I don't want to say it's bland looking, but the singular colors kind of, eh. I'm still looking forward to seeing what Toy Hacks is going to do with this box set. Well, pretty good. Let me flip this around and give you my final thoughts in just a moment. So there's the animated auto trooper. Uh, it's not a bad figure. It's, I like the Decepticon Seeker. I didn't enjoy this one as much as I liked the Seeker one. Uh, I'm giving it a good, a solid eight. It's, excuse me, it's not a bad figure. It's good mold. It just, it's kind of bland. And I hate saying that. I don't like saying that for a true builder. But I feel like there could be a little bit more detailing on this guy. Than there should be. But. I'm excited to see. Like I said before. I'm excited to see what Toy Hacks is going to do for him. And the other figures from the set. So. 8 out of 10. If you like this figure. Like this review. If you have the original Auto Trooper BotCon exclusives. Or TFCon exclusives. It's one or the other. Let me know in the comments down below. Like, share, subscribe, whack that bell for notifications. And just remember, keep in those toy aisles. I'll see you guys next time. Later.